Assalamu alaikum. I'm Yasmin Mujahid, and this is something where we are we are joining together to celebrate the life of a very very beautiful man, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The part of his life that I want to talk about is a part that was actually very very difficult on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of the hardest periods in his life, and this was the year of sadness. During his life and the beginning part of his revelation, of his mission, he had a very very difficult task. And yet he had the support of two people uh, in his life who were one of his greatest supports, and that was his uncle Abu Talib and his wife Khadija radiallahu anha. What happened during the year of sadness, in the tenth year of, of the mission, is both of them died in the same year. Now you can imagine what the Prophet Sallallahu is going through at this point. He lost one of his, his you know, he lost his beloved wife, and he also lost his uncle, who he loved very dearly. But he also, he also lost a protection because the Quraysh were trying to attack the Prophet Sallallahu and one of the things that was keeping, that was barring them, was was the protection of Abu Talib. Now during this time, uh, he he start he decided to go to Taif, and when he went to Taif. His, his, the persecution increased and it, and it continued. And the people actually lined up, uh, children and others, and threw things at him and even threw stones to, to such an extent that he was wounded and bleeding. And he was thrown out of the city in this type of humiliating way. Now you can imagine what he was going through at this point. And he went and he sat under the tree and he made a very powerful dua. And there's one aspect of that dua that I want to focus on. And this is the part of the dua where he says, In lam takum bika ghadabun alayya fala ubali. That if you are not displeased with me, then I don't mind. Now this is mind blowing because the Prophet ﷺ has been through so much at this point. He has been persecuted by his people, his wife has died, his uncle has died, and he's been thrown out of this city. Uh, in such a humiliating way. And yet his number one concern is the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says that as long as Allah is not displeased with him, that he doesn't mind all the rest that happened to him. Now that is in and of itself such a testament. And, and, it, and it shows um, what the character of the Prophet Sallallahu is. And it's an example for us because we also go through hardships. And this shows us what really, really matters. That any hardship that brings us closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is actually good for us. And any hardship that takes us away from Him, even if it's ease in fact, and it takes us away from Him, then it is bad for us. Now you'll notice too that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala after this period of time does something miraculous. Allah takes the Prophet ﷺ up to the heavens, to a place where no other human being has ever been. And you see here that it, it's such a, a very, very symbolic sort of uh, lesson for us that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away the creation, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes something from us that we love, but He gives back something better, He gives back something so much greater. And in this case, it is that nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, none of us are going to go up into the heavens in this life, and yet we can experience that spiritual nearness. And when Allah takes away something of the creation that we love, but He gives us His nearness, then nothing else matters. If you are not displeased with us, O oh Allah, then I don't mind. This is the lesson and this is the attitude that we should take and this is the inspiration that we can get from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aquni qawli hadha wa astaghfar Allahi wa lakum innahu ghafurur rahim wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.